What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Talking Outside the Box podcast, episode nine. nine. It's nine. It's, nine, it's, yeah. it's nine. It's been a journey so far. Uh, you guys have been supporting. You guys have been. The last podcast actually did, did uh, very, very well in yeah, terms of I mean, in terms thank, of views. Yes. You guys. So thank you for the views, guys. We appreciate it. And today's topic, uh, pretty relevant in today's society. I think it's all about relationships and dating, right? Relationships and dating. Yes. Very okay. controversial. Very uh, risky topic. But we're risky, gonna definitely it. risky. <laughs> but we like risky. We like risky on this po- uh, podcast. So, guys, if you have not subscribed yet, please make sure you do subscribe to this channel. Uh, leave a comment. You guys have been leaving your comment like crazy on the past few videos. We do appreciate that. So, I think um, right off the bat, I think you know today's dating and relationship world has been complicated, essentially by social media, by. Definitely by uh, peer pressure, by always wanting to keep up with the Joneses. What is your opinion on, on the influence? I mean, if you look at, let's say our parents, for example, mm. there wasn't any social media or yeah. you know, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately in today's world, you know, um, it's not the same. Mm-hmm. Like our parents met in bars, or yeah. met at yeah. Some weird place, and exactly. they were, you know, happy they were after, happy, yeah. you know. Yeah. And in today's world, unfortunately, when you meet someone, they already know two thousand people because yeah. that's who follows them. Mm-hmm. They've got sixty DMs lined up in their <laughs> Instagram exactly. messages. Yeah. It, it, it's just so different. It's so hard. Mm. I mean, if you look at first base now compared to first base back then, it's, it's crazy. crazy. It's crazy difference. Yeah. Uh, you know, some people. You meet them, it's the first date, and they already jump to... Yeah, yeah, they already jump to, to exactly. It's and scary. It's scary. It's, it's scary. like there's, there's no more, there's no more, you know, I'm sticking to my to my principles, my morals. My morals. Yes, there's no such thing. In, I, I'm not saying everyone is like that, but ultimately the, the 90%, let's say, of the of the population, I mean, it's, it's just not sticking, it's just diving straight in, getting serious, and that's why you see this high divorce rate throughout the Definitely. world. Definitely. No, I think... Um, I actually read something the other day, it's like 60%. 60% of couples that get married yeah. divorce. Yeah. And That's the crazy thing. fact, um, 30% of the divorce rate yeah. is within the first two years. Oh my goodness. So, you know, that's crazy. And it's astounding to see, you know, when you compare the, the modern day marriages to marriages that took place 70s and 80s, mm-hmm. they're still lasting until today. Mm-hmm. And then you hope you hear people getting married a day, a year, maybe a few months even, and then it's it's over. They split up. Yeah. And it's actually weird because back in the day, mm. you know, you would only move in yeah. with the person after you get got married. Yeah. Right? And today it, it's quite different. You yeah. Know? You you move in, mm-hmm. you get engaged, yeah. you get married. You get married, yeah. It's a reverse. Which it's a reverse. Basically it's supposed reverse. to be, yeah. But I mean, if you haven't seen the person stay today, you haven't, yeah. like back in the day, yeah. it's so much easier, you know, it's obviously going to and affect you. It's weird because we have advantages these days of staying in, in touch, whereas in those days you had to like exactly. phone landlines, you had to see them once a week. Yeah, see them once, even once in two weeks, once mm. a month, it's, it was hard, but I think being separated from, from, from each other for that long and then it teaches you that, that kind of almost like a, it's almost like a, dis- a, a loyalty right because that's something that these days is unfortunately like. because of social media and everything mm. loyalty in today's society is basically not existent, existent. yeah uh, the thing is you know you're you're in a relationship you're happy yeah. everything's fine yeah what happens you see let's say you're a girl you see a guy on instagram mm. oh, he's hot yeah you know and same with us like you see a girl. Yeah, vice versa, yeah. And the main problem is, you know, you're in a relationship, but this guy's better. I yeah, can get this better. Can get, yeah, yeah. And it fucks it up like this. Yeah. The thing is, stick to your loyalty. Unfortunately, it's non existent. Yeah, that's the sad part of today's society. You, and you have genuine people actually looking for a loyal man, a loyal woman. But, you know, with all these distractions, as you said, you scroll onto Instagram, you see, oh, this girl is beautiful. I mean, right? it's, 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 it's temptation at its worst. I mean, you're a male, you know. Yeah. If you go on Instagram right now mm-hmm. and you click on a search bar yeah. on the left hand yeah. corner of your phone, mm-hmm. 
you'll see five, six, seven girls in their bikinis. Yeah. Why? Because the algorithm is programmed to keep you entertained. Of course. To, because the more time you spend on social media, the more money they make. Mm -hmm. And get back, it gets back to all our previous all podcasts. Our previous podcast, yeah. it, it's actually, the algorithm is programmed to make you achieve. They've, yeah. <laughs> they they've, they've, they've basically made a game out of relationships. Yeah. They, they've, you know, put all of this content on there. And it's on the internet, it's not, not, not only social media. There's, there's other sites as well, dating sites, whatever it may be. It's so easy to be disloyal. And they're not even knowing of it. That, that's because people will ask in the comments, why do you say loyalty is non-existent? Let me tell you. Yeah, it, it, explain. It's non-existent because of all the dopamine rushes you get from everywhere. Yeah. You know, back in the day... It's the gratification like that. So. Exactly. Back in the day, you didn't get these things. You yeah. know, you your dopamine rush was seeing your girlfriend after two weeks. Today, if I decide to go on my phone right now, scroll to, through Instagram, I'll get a dopamine rush. Of course, yeah. And it's you, it's uh, forced upon you. Like, mm. you don't get the dopamine rush you used to get. Yeah. Um, because, fr well, from seeing your girl or your boyfriend or whatever, you don't get that rush anymore. Mm. Why? Because you You're scroll through your phone, yeah, you yeah, constantly yeah. get the dopamine rush. Reminded of something that you could have had, could have had, but you don't have. Exactly. And you keep on asking yourself, can I have better than what I have today? And you'll be, often your answer is yes, I can. Most of the time the answer is yes, you know. But that is when you need to go sit down and think for yourself. This person might be pretty or yeah. hot or whatever. Yeah. But is she as exceptional as the person you're with currently? Correct. And remember, you know, you're looking at... She's in a bikini, she's hot, she's mm. got a flat mm. stomach. Yeah, you could see 10,000 filters on that photo of all, you know. The thing you need to remember, yeah. in five to 10 years, she's not gonna look the same. No, of course not. Are you still gonna be in a relationship with her because of her looks? Mm. Or are you happy in the relationship mm. you're in mm. because of the brain? Mm. Remember, the most important part of any relationship is your intellectual connection yeah it's not it is for sure it's not it physical is. attraction yeah you're right because physical attraction disappears yeah intellectual connection never disappears yeah it is true and i think it's so it's so hard especially you know and i'm going to say this for males mm. right because we program to immediately look for you know oh she's beautiful she'll be beautiful we our brains are like wired to 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 tune into the, the the look side of things more than the emotional side or the intellectual side whereas females tend to look more to they always say tend to look more to the the emotional, intellectual or the no, emotional, emotional side. Yeah. yeah no i mean just take me for example you know mm -hmm. um and you know i didn't re really talk about <laughs> the stuff on hey, camera, this, but, this you know, for it, yeah. we're talking about yeah. relationships yeah 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 if you are lucky enough to meet someone that's beautiful and equally strong intellectual mm -hmm. Very rare. Don't miss the opportunity. No, please don't. And like, it's like me currently. I'm in that situation. You know, I, I met someone that's extremely beautiful and also intellectual. Mm. And unfortunately, um, some of us missed that opportunity. Missed that opportunity, yeah. Yeah. Yes, my own fault sometimes. Most of the time. Yeah. Never blame someone else. Yeah. If something goes wrong in your life, never blame someone else. It's your own fault. Yeah. And back to topic. Most of the times, You'll meet someone like that and you'll miss the opportunity because of stupid reasons. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you can talk about what those reasons are because you've been there. I know yeah. for a fact you've yeah. been there. Yeah. I've I, been there. I think you've, I think when you get wrecked in the previous, in your previous relationships, Definitely. that's when it kind of, uh, it, it kind of blinds you to, to the amazing opportunities that you're missing. That's right in front of you but you're not seeing it, or you don't want to see it, right? And, and not just blinds you, right? Yeah. It, it fucks you up. Yeah, because, true. You know, That's a great word, yeah. You, going back to me, yeah. let me use me as an example. Yeah, you know, he's not getting big today, by the way, yeah. Um, you know, you can, you were in a relationship that messed you up, mm. and now you met this perfect person, Yeah. but you're still, you know, 
laid back, held back. Yeah. You're so afraid of getting hurt. Again. Living in the past, yeah. And that's my biggest advice, you know. Do not be afraid of getting hurt. It's part of life. Yeah. Just it's inevitable it, in everything, yeah. I've always been a guy that believed, you know, jump in the deep end of the pool. Yeah. Don't walk in just dive. Just dive, just dive straight in. Yeah. Dive and get it over with. Yeah, because I mean either way you're you're it doesn't matter if you take it slow, if you take it, you know, if you just dive in straight in. You, there's always the chance of something going wrong and you getting hurt at the end of the day. That's the chance you have to take. If you don't take the chance, well, prepare to be alone for the rest I of mean, your life. You can go to the shops right now. I can go to pick and pay or whatever <laughs> and just, you know, walk through the parking lot and get hit by a car. If yeah. It happens. It happens. You can be flying right now and a plane can crash. It happens. So yeah. Why not risk it? Why not risk it? Yeah. Why not take mm. that leap? Mm. Mm. I know it's scary. You know, you I know mean, it's scary. I mean, what can what can happen? What, the worst that can happen is it doesn't work. What you do then is you pick your your shit up and you move on. Go next. To the next. We always say go next. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is it's simple advice. It sounds so simplistic, but it's as simple as yes, dive into it, see where it goes. If you get hurt, well, you get hurt. If not, you pick. If not, it's good it for you. If you just pick up your shit, please. Please just pick up. And what what is some of the best advice you can give people if something does go wrong? What's the best thing you can do first off? What's what's the first what's the first thing you should do really when shit goes to? A lot of people are going to disagree with me. Yeah. But when the shit hits the fan, you know, you just went through a breakup or yeah. whatever. You could buy a single malt scotch. <laughs> Here we go. Drink that bottle. Here finish we... it. Damn. Finish and it. then stop drinking. Yeah. Just. You need to allow yourself to 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 it's almost grief. Grief. Yeah. Feel every single emotion. Yeah. If, if you are a druggie or you do weed or whatever, I don't encourage it. <laughs> but just do you. Yes. Get that grief out. Yes. Get that emotions out. I agree. Do not let the you know it build up and be, people thing. like us. Mm. They tend to not cry, you know. And my advice, cry. Get it out. Yeah. And even if you need alcohol or a substance to get there, do it. Get every single thing out yes. so that you can move on. Yes. Let's say it's a Friday, you can be unhappy until Monday. Monday morning, you get up, you hit the gym, you start your business or you start whatever you're doing yeah. and you grind. Yeah. It's, trust me, success is the best revenge. Yeah. It always has been, always will yeah. be. And sometimes it's, it's not even about so uh, revenge per se. Let's say you, you went you, you went your separate ways because of reasons, right? There's all no that. one's fault. No one's fault, perhaps. But you still need to work through those emotions. Allow those emotions to affect you, as you said. Allow them to affect you. Just get rid of them. Monday morning when you wake up, you go about your daily life. You need. We've talked about this before. Yeah. And I'm gonna incorporate it in this podcast as well. Yeah. Unfortunately, you need to get up. Yeah. You can't stay at rock bottom forever. You need to get up. And you know, sometimes it hurts. Yeah. We've been yeah, through it. it I've it, been through it. It's been, it lingers, yeah. Sometimes it hurts so much that it takes you months. Yeah. To get to really to get back process up. Process it, yeah. But you need you need to do it. Yeah. You can't be self-destructive. You can't. No. no. Unfortunately, then you're just you're digging a deep hole for yourself, right? Unfortunately, you need to get out of the door. Yeah. Even if you have to build a ladder from your own blood and bones, <laughs> you need to get out of it. Poetry, dramatic things. Yeah, but it's it, it, it is true, and I think you know once you become accustomed to one person, you kind of think to yourself, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ever meet someone like this again. It's it's impossible. And then you realize, oh damn, there's like millions and millions of people out there. Sorry if you guys are in a relationship, but let yeah. me just state some pure facts. There are billions of people on earth. <laughs> Everyone's got a story. Correct. And if you fall in love with someone, it can be perfect. Yeah. But it can also go to shit just like that. Of course. And then you can't just believe in, oh, but this is my person. No. Move no. on. Move on. Move on. I promise you. I promise you, you, you'll find your person. Yeah. There's, there's, there's probably thousands of people on that level or better for you than that person. 
you just it's just a matter of having the guts to get over your mm. your self pity, pick yourself up, and move on. Go out, meet not meet meet other people. That's uh, unfortunately, miracle. you know, people tend to go back to their exes. Yeah. Why? It's their comfort zone. Yeah. It you is. Know? You love the idea of It gets back to the our previous podcast, the guy talking about the if it's comfortable, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay, yeah. You know, it's yeah. that type of vibe. Mm. As as soon as you realize that you deserve better, mm. 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 then you go and get better. Mm. It's and, and it's very hard. L- listen, it's not easy to do it. Because as you, as he you said, you've been in the comfort zone for so long, you know, it's, it's you're like, okay, that's my person. I can go back to there because I'm comfortable there. And then you said when you once you step back and you step outside of that zone, you begin to realize I've been blinded, right? I've been I've been completely blinded. You know, we we don't talk about ourselves usually. Yeah. But I've seen the shit <laughs> for face correct, like, yeah. Real life. In, I've seen this. Yeah. I've been in a relationship for so long and now I've met someone else. And yeah. you know, it's it's like this blinding light just disappears. Yeah. Yeah. It's you meet, and the same with you, you know, mm, mm. Y- you are so hung up on your on, ex or yes, whatever, yes. and then suddenly you meet someone that's just exactly, exactly. like you. Yeah, that's exactly. Just perfect. Yeah. yeah. And you realize you've been blinded and, for and that long, yeah. My point is, you know, if you keep going back, if you keep returning to abuse or whatever the case, mm, mm, mm. you're never going to find that person. No. And I promise you, if you get over if you get over him you're gonna find that person yeah you're going to find that person mm. you might be in 20 more relationships before you meet it's, that it's, person yeah it's all about trial and error i guess it's it's like these trial there, and error. there are no um books no, saying no, you know no 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 okay, step one you have to no, be step, yeah. step two, no yeah you're not going to find your loved one by reading a book no. unfortunately <laughs> unfortunately no that's that's you're only going to find it through personal experience to actually meeting new people and saying okay this you know this i like this person but this this is what bothers me i like this person but this is what bothers me but is there a, is there a, a kind of a compromise that i can that i can go about in choosing who's right for me and who's not right you know the thing is this is why this is a hard topic to talk about right yeah because it's so personal it's I can I can get on the level mm. when we talk about money or motivation or anything mm-hmm. I can tell you this is the steps you it's know? universe it's universe Take this, yeah. be dedicated yes do a morning routine yeah. yeah journal meditate grind yeah you'll make it and I promise you you will if you follow that making money mm-hmm. and you follow a few steps you're gonna do it no yeah. matter what yeah but with relationships with dating with meeting someone it's not the same you're not going to follow 10 steps no and boom, no your relationship no, there are no steps no one says that's all yeah? un, un, exactly yeah unfortunately you need to get out there and you know taste the water like mm. they say you need to it every sounds single so, person yeah it you sounds meet, so blatant but it is testing the water you know every single person you meet have different needs mm. have different experiences it's, yeah unfortunately yeah, past, you have to change your approach yeah to, yeah to get to, the to person. every single person yes and that's the hard part yes because some people they might like personal touch other people's might not like mm. you know it's, it's 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 so hard to but that's the thing you have to go out there you have to experiment what do you like and apply it to what other people like okay are you compatible or you're not compatible eliminate you eliminate you it's it's scary and unfortunately um like we said in our what was our let's talk about it episode uh can you make some yeah yeah, yes last week yeah unfortunately um it happens you know sometimes you might be madly in love with someone Mm. and they won't like you it's yeah oh yeah it happens it happens (laughs) and unfortunately i'm I'm gonna say this again and i might sound extremely harsh but i don't mean it like that you know Mm. unfortunately you need to get back on your horse. Yeah. You need to continue. You need yeah. to move forward because you can't force someone to love you. And I think that's the. It's so hard because that initial attraction, right? It might be love. It might be lust. How do you distinguish between the two? You'll know. You'll sure. What? Yeah. I think 
you know, some so many people confuse those two. They're saying, okay, yo, this girl is beautiful, but you, my friend, are lustful at this moment. You know, you, you're not the loving, you're lust. You, it's lusting. You can't build a relationship on lust. No. You can't. You can't. You can't. On love, you can build an oh, empire. Yes, because love is so much more than physical. It's so much more. It's intellectual, as you said. Think about it. There's 24 hours in a day, and we're going to get very deep right now. <laughs> Here we go, ladies and gents. There's 24 hours in a day. Your lustful experience lasts for less than an hour. What are you going to do with the other 23 hours of the day if you don't love the person? Facts, because you're staying within the house. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to talk about? Are you just going to sit? Or are you going to wait for tomorrow? To tomorrow to just carry? Yeah. Yeah, that's the... that's And that's why most relationships fail. Unfortunately, I think most of them are built on lust. Right? That, that, that's why I always... Even we, we've talked about it. Yeah. Um, you know, as a male, I don't know how it works for females, so I'm not going to talk on their behalf. Yeah, of course, yeah. But as a male, you know, when I go into a relationship and I really like someone, I'll ask them, what do you want to do? Why? Why do I ask this? Because, you know, I've got a, a loving uh, feeling yeah, yeah, towards yes, them. Yes. Which means they can decide. What happens next? Yeah, I'm not gonna just lustfully jump in bed and you know yeah. do whatever. Yeah, do. yeah. No, it's relationships it's, about this. It's about yeah. It's about building from the foundations of intellectual connection. Yes, physical connection is important, but intellectual connection is even more important because, as you say, I feel it, it's it's uh, it's so. How can I say this? We're, we're so I'm almost poisoned by. I mean, look, you go on, onto the internet, you go onto these X-rated sites. You go onto Instagram. You yeah. don't even need to go into yeah. an extra. If you yeah. are a male and you're watching this, you'll know exactly what I'm yeah. talking about. Yeah. You go onto Instagram right now. You'll see a girl in fishnets. Yeah. Right now. Right now. I promise you. I go don't onto Instagram. Once again, I can't speak for mm. women, mm. but the first or second thing is always go in fishnets. But Andrew Tate is bad. Yeah. You know. <laughs> no. The it's hit, crazy. The, the double standard war we live in is crazy. It's crazy, dude. But um, yeah, and I think that's what makes makes it so much harder because, as I said, the temptation is everywhere. It's social media. It's, it's everywhere. Temptation being indoctrinated indoctrin into us. But yeah, it's some, it, that's what the makes relationships so hard. People is ignoring the distractions that are easily accessible and actually just building a relationship without the distractions at hand. Even if you expose those distractions, your if your relationship is really strong, you're you know none of you are going to be phased by those uh, by those distractions. I mean, back to the advice. Yeah. Something unrelatable to relationships, but still semi-relatable. You know, stop being jealous <laughs> of people that met their soulmate. Be happy for mm, them because mm. I promise you. You'll meet yours. Yeah. And when you do, you will like people to be happy for you. Yeah. You know, you've got this mate from school that made his high school sweetheart and yeah, we see married it. now. Re engaged, married, whatever. It, it, it. We see it. It's real scary. life. It's real life. We see it's it. It's scary. Our yeah, friends. Some of our friends. We see it. And you think, damn, you're damn. so lucky. Yeah. Yeah. It's got nothing to do with luck. No. You just haven't met your person. Mm. And some advice I can give you today. As soon as you meet someone, you know. You know. You know. This is your person or you don't. You just know. My biggest advice, stop messing around with someone else's soulmate. If this is not your person, <laughs> if this is yeah. not your person, tell, you them, know, yeah. tell them, move on. Yeah, move on. Go find your person. Stop working. Stop being in a relationship because you're lonely. <laughs> you can't be in a relationship yeah. because you're alone. Yeah, you're afraid That's of bullshit. being alone. No, it's bullshit. It's bullshit. Some people are afraid of being alone. I understand that. But this, it, it, it does not help your cause to be with a person just to cure your loneliness, just for purely that reason. That's bullshit. Just for purely the reason that you don't want to be alone, okay, now I'm with this person. How does that work? How is that going to last? At the end of the day, you're just hurting that person and yourself. Definitely. I promise you, you are. Wow. And remember, now you're in a relationship for two years, three years, yeah. with a person just because you're afraid of being alone, <laughs> which means, you have wasted two or three years yeah. on you know finding the person. Well, you could have found the person that you're supposed to be with. Yes. Now, 
you know, you've wasted all the time. You guys are young, you're yeah. 20, 22, yeah. you, you think you've got time. Remember, time goes like this. Yeah, it is. It, Before it, you, uh, you know, open your eyes, you realize, oh shit, I'm 30 and I've fucked around with all these people. Yes. What am I going to do now? Yes. Because now, now people are going to look at me and say, uh, going to ask me, how long was your relationship? Six months. Oh no, immediately red flag, I'm going to, exactly. they're going to bail. Exactly. Right? And don't get me wrong, you know, if your longest relationship is two months, three months, ten months, yeah, it's okay. I mean, personally, I, I've had up to a year, right? I mean, like, in three years. Yeah, three years is a long time. A year, I mean, is 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 it's a it's a it's a solid foundation, foundation. right, that you've built in a, in a year's time. But within that time, you begin to but, realize. But you know, getting over it, that's yeah. a, yes. You need that progress. You need to. Get over it. And yes. I sound like a rude human being, but I'm not. You, <laughs> unfortunately, you need to yeah. move on. You need to get over it. You can't stick with it forever. You can't just mm. sulk. Mm. You need to mm. move on. You need to find mm. someone else. Mm. And you know, if you don't find someone else, so be it. Don't, don't, I think uh, it's, it sounds cliche, but don't, don't try and always to, to force or chase it. It, it. it will come at the most unexpected time. That's the thing. It's such a kiss cliche statement you know yeah a uh, love comes at the unexpected unfortunately it does. you know as soon as you chase something as uh-huh. soon as you chase love mm-hmm. you're never going to find out you find it yeah. as soon as you work on yourself work mm-hmm. on your own happiness work on your own you mental see, health you see all these people popping like up this. yeah you see all these people mm-hmm. popping up and it's like why have i haven't i done this earlier why mm-hmm. haven't why haven't i stopped chasing earlier and then let, let it be let, let it be. my biggest advice if you are single right now yeah and you are desperately open for love waiting for love <laughs> my biggest advice chill work on yourself exactly it will come at the most unexpected time unexpected. and you'll be thankful mm. work on yourself i mean look at us i think we think all of the new people we've met would, would it, it was at the most random times right and that's just the last month yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it, it will come it, like you said it's very cliche but it will come at the most when it, you'd be chilling mm-hmm. in the park or something with your dog chilling at a bar yeah you know, and you would just you just have this people person walk up to you and start a, start a conversation just a random conversation right whether it be it could be Andrew Tate it could be something so you know it, it's just an example but it will come at the most unexpected time so just be patient if you're single right now just be patient I am single, I'm patient. Just be patient, work on yourself, work on whatever you're passionate about, and soon you will meet people and you know that, that support you. That this is always well also quite important. Yeah. When that comes, because it's gonna come. Yeah, it is. Inevitable. Do not be rude. Don't, do not be Yeah, don't don't rush it also. And don't fuck it up, you know? No, yeah. And that's a, don't be afraid of messing it up. It, yeah. You are going to. You're yeah. gonna make mistakes. At some stage, yeah. But as soon as that person comes to you or you walk to them, just be nice. Yeah. My name is this. Yeah. Be nice. Be mm. be yourself. That's yes. Like, do not please be yourself. Yeah. Do not be a person. No. Let's say, for example, fuck is your favorite word. <laughs> like mine. Yeah. <laughs> we. I think they realize that right now. Don't be afraid of using it. Yeah. If it's your person, they'll they'll understand get, it. They'll, they'll understand it. Yeah. But don't. Suddenly move. I, now I you're. Swear. Now you're all this. Yeah, three, you're, three months in your relationship. Suddenly, you start. You start dating it out, yeah. and then like this is not who you are. It's but in the meanwhile, it's been who I am. It's been who I was. Be yourself. Time. And I know it's hard to identify who you are, but yeah. think about it. If you are lying in bed at night watching Netflix, your thoughts. That's who you are. That's who you are. Yeah. Be that person to other people mm. because if you are the three four year relationship you're going to be yourself yeah you can't hold up this i'm perfect for all no for no, no, no it's impossible yeah but anyway guys you know um we need to unfortunately we need to wrap this up yeah but otherwise you, we're going to be speaking for two hours yeah and um, but if you want to follow up on our advice our opinion remember it's advice and opinions we don't know everything not we yet don't, we will never know anything but yeah you can't know, but we'll never know anything so, uh, everything right so you know if, if you want a follow up on this podcast let yes us know, let us let us know what your opinion is yeah. on this yes and yeah 
um, that's about it. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel, please. We, 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 uh, we're basically begging. <laughs> I'm begging you. <laughs> Press that subscribe button. <laughs> Press the subscribe button, turn on the post notifications, and we will see you in the next episode.